Hey there, it's Samuel again. In today's video, we're gonna be covering the installation process of our Parlevel Max kiosk. Prior to installation, you're gonna to wanna to hop into your Parlevel VMS and create your account, locations, your market, your market assets, as well as assign products and pricing to those assets. Creating the kiosk in your VMS will allow your market to run properly, as well as give you access to Parlevel's powerful VMS tools to help you manage your market. If you run across any issues, please feel free to reach out to your customer success manager for training in this regard. The items required for the market installation will be the par level max kiosk, a USB keyboard, and a Phillips head screwdriver that can be used to remove the back panel off of the kiosk in case a longer ethernet cable is needed. After powering on your kiosk, you're gonna to wanna to connect it to the internet. Our Parlevel Max kiosk can be connected via either Ethernet or Wi-Fi. In this demonstration, I am going to connect our kiosk over a Wi-Fi network. You will want to touch anywhere on the kiosk screen to get it into focus. Then you will want to press Control Q on your keyboard. This is going to exit you out of the application. Next thing you're going to want to press on your keyboard is Windows N for network. This is going to pull up your network configuration menu. You're going to want to arrow down to activate a connection. Press enter on that. Then you're going to go ahead and arrow down to your respective Wi-Fi network. You're going to want to press enter on it. It will then ask for a password if required. As soon as it is connected, you will see a small asterisk next to the Wi-Fi network that your uh, kiosk is connected to. After you see that it is connected, you can hit the escape button on your keyboard. This will exit out of your network configuration. The next thing you want to do is press Windows M for menu. This is going to pull up a right click menu. You can then use your arrow keys and enter button to select kiosk. This will then relaunch your kiosk application and take you to the driver login. To get to your driver login page, you're going to want to select cash if you have a validator on the kiosk and start app. Your owner login page for company name will be the subdomain to your URL that takes you to your par level VMS. The username and password are going to be the credentials used to log into your VMS. The device ID is going to be the, P the kiosk serial number. You will find this located on the side of your kiosk on a metal tag. Okay. okay. And looks like 392. Your gateway password will be generated through USA Live. What this is for is to activate your credit card bezel. In this situation, we do not have um, a USA Live password, so I'm going to just sign in without it. You click sign in and it'll pull up your market based off of however you created it in your VMS. From here, you can log in as a driver by clicking My Wallet, the green truck icon on the bottom left hand corner. Your driver login credentials again are going to be what you use to log into your VMS. From your driver login or your driver console, you can select hardware test to verify that your kiosk is up and running fully functional. Outside of this, your driver console can be used to service or, or product management at your market. I'm going to hit the start over button to bring us back to your menu. There you have it. Your Par Level Max kiosk is now up and running and ready to serve your customers' needs. Please keep in mind that over here at Par Level, we have your back prior to, during, or after the installation process. At any time, if you're in need of assistance or have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your customer success manager. Thank you for choosing Par Level.